Yeah, yeah. Just some shit that's been going on that's, like, just made me annoyed. Want to get it off my chest. Uh, I don't know if you know about this at all, but, uh, you know the YouTube show Young Turks? Yeah. Okay. So, Cenk Uger, Anna Kasparian, the Young Turks, uh, yeah. YouTube show has now several shows in its network, and the 10 minute, mi do I, can I do this in 10 minutes? I don't know. It's a 10 minute warning, get out of here. Uh, that threw me off. So I've been watching yeah. them, and they've really been, they've really been, uh, they've been the progressive voice on YouTube. Uh, yeah. Biggest supporters of Bernie Sanders, all of that. I, I've been watching them for at least, God, I don't know, before Trump became president. Okay. You know, <clears throat> however long that is, I don't feel like doing the math. Uh, and, and have been strong, strong, strong supporters of the trans community in their reporting. And it is very true that they have done hundreds and hundreds of trans supported videos in their time. So... It was very surprising when all of a sudden Anna Kasparian tweets out, I am a woman, please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus, birthing person, or person who menstruates. How do people not realize how degrading this is? You can support the transgender community without doing this shit. Fuck you. Where the hell is that coming from? Exactly. Like, what the fuck happened there? I, that pisses me off. I never, I never listened so it's to the young. Like, it's I, I never saw like... the Young Turks ever. So, it's kind of like if Jesus suddenly said, "Well, you know what." Fuck the Jews. You that know, I mean, so, like... That is so What the fuck up. is that? Of all, of all the people to... To go... Full... To go full rowling. I never expected... A popular liberal... Group like the Young Turks to do that. This is a classic heel turn. Yeah, right? Yeah. This and is like when Stone Cold oh, I am with Mr. McMahon. Yeah. Like, like, I am angry, but I'm also feeling, like, really fucking heartbroken, you know? Yeah. Like, this is a surprise. Huh. You know, like, I don't know, like, maybe Bernie Sanders saying, I really am in it for the money, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like like you like you would be fucking shocked at something like that, and I find this yeah. completely shocking. But like, it doesn't quite stop here, and I'm jumping over, uh, I'm jumping around a little bit. Like I'm not telling a story here. Yeah, I am venting. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like if suddenly you heard that, um, uh. Bernie Sanders was had all these sexual abuse claims. Yeah. I am once again asking you to suck it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like that? Uh, I thought that was cute. <coughs> hey, can I But then they then they both Chink gets in and then they both wind up starting to double down on the initial statement. 
like okay. like they have drawn some kind of weird ass line that this is a hill they want to die on. Like what, what the, the fuck? hell? <clears throat> so anyway, I don't know if you could see the screen. No, I'm I'm reading it right now. Don't start a fight and then cry when I fight back. What the hell? What the hell? Yeah. This is so I I think that it's because uh I think this is all Trump's doing. That you know the American people hate Trump, but the media knows he's good for business. Yeah. So I feel that between now and the election, you're going to see a lot more CNN town hall with Trump. Hey, maybe Trump would be better than DeSantis. Hey, maybe woke ideologies are going too far. You're going to see a few. I think you're going to see a few more leftists uh, try and cash in on Trump money while they can. Yeah. But this is hurtful. Yeah. This is hurtful. Yeah. But on top of this, because now, like, I came late to this party mentally from when I stumbled onto it. I was just, like, watching the Young Turks, and I was like, I don't know, man. It's just sort of seeming like more and more. <clears throat> they were doing more stories that were attacking the audience, you know? Hmm. And this was just yeah. the feeling I had, and, like, I just watch the show. I don't, like, follow, I don't follow them or anything. I might follow the Young Turks itself on Facebook. I don't know. But anyway. Yeah. Uh, How do you pronounce Thanks? Full name. Shank Uger. Okay. He was my favorite Ravager <laughs> in the Guardians movies. Yeah. Which also, who's the head of the Ravagers? Rocky Balboa. It all ties together. Yeah. Circle of life. Yeah. So, uh, so it was just a feeling I had, but it got enough where I decided, like, is anybody else noticing this, or is this just me? You know? And, yeah. Uh, no, this is this is effed up. I haven't heard anybody talk about this. No. The young <coughs> Turks went full on, went full right with their trans ideology. It's and a that's difficult where... time to be me. Yeah. And that's I'm really where... a time saver, especially here in Oklahoma, because it's like, oh man, I'm really busy. I need to hate leftists. And I need to hate Mexicans, and I need to hate trans people. I'm a time saver for bigots. <laughs> I hate your kind. Okay, which kind? Because I'm a bunch of different kinds. I'm a woman married to a woman. I've got a trans son. I've got I'm Hispanic. Like, what thing are you hating me for? Yeah, I hate your kind, and it's like I understand why you hate me. Phoenix sucks. That's where my people are from. Is that what you're talking about? People from Phoenix who spent too much time in Metro Center Mall? But yeah, I'm a, I'm a real bigot time saver. Yeah. It's a difficult time to be trans right now. It sucks. Yeah. When I realized that I was trans in summer of 2021, I was excited for 10 minutes and was deeply depressed for two hours. Yeah. And it's like, fuck. Damn it. Why now? But well, there you go. Yeah. Still alive. So so when I went to find out, that's when I came across this. And in coming across this, I found out that a lot of other people that I also watch on YouTube, like you got the things that you subscribe to, and then you got yeah. the stuff that you pop that pop up in your recommendations. <laughs> you know, so like, yeah. for some reason, some people don't make it out of your recommendations, but you always watch them when they pop up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So there are a few people like those, and I had found out that they had all made a statement 
about what they thought about the tweet, along with trying to discuss it with them online. Okay? Like, this is one yep. person, I don't know who it is, <laughs> you know, trying to explain it to Cenk Uger. And that's what he comes back with. And from what, what I've seen, nobody was doing that. Nobody was doing that. But <clears throat> here's closer to what did happen, which is pointed out more in... Ah, Uh. Oh, he's talking. I can't do that, dude. Tag me in. Tag me back in. You're in. As far as dead air goes, that wasn't that long. <laughs> that was impressive. We're getting better with that. No, I am. I am way too high to try to talk through this and perform <laughs> that maneuver. Yeah. Yeah, I took my edible uh, uh, exactly two hours ago. So, yeah, no, it's totally yeah. good. <sighs> so there's what Chink says here and what gets broken down in Anna's tweet over here. Okay. Because a, a lot of these podcasters get together and they do a show, like a Zoom meeting show together called The Leftist Mafia. Yeah. And it just kind of... They're just doing a podcast. They're talking shit, you know? They're bringing up different things, whatever. But it came up on that show. And apparently, Anna got bent all out of shape about it. Because it, I it see was, that. they were trying to clarify what they were trying to tell her in tweets. Yeah. And why... This is not good. And how she also knew it in a video she herself did not too long ago. Uh, of course. <clears throat> I don't I don't I don't get it. Like my existence as a woman, as a trans woman, doesn't mean that like Hey, you, biological woman, you're not allowed to be a fucking woman anymore because I exist. Like, I don't cancel out someone. This isn't the negative zone. Yeah. You know? it. I'm so confused. I exist. It, that was the problem that I had when, you know, I was doing story times for a nonprofit. And then I started transitioning. And immediately after that, I was let go due to budget issues and uh that upset me but like i understand parents saying oh well i don't want a uh drag queen reading to my kids and it's like not a drag queen 
woman. I wouldn't mind if a drag queen read to my kids, but I'm a woman, not a drag queen. So there yeah. you go. Okay. So it's really upsetting to see people just pop up and just it's like, hey, I'm a liberal and I am a feminist and I am a strong supporter of women's rights. But fuck trans people and this is the hill I'm gonna die on. Well, but 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 no, not quite because like trans people were always included in that. Yeah. Until seemingly out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh well, real talk. Like like let's get real. My uh father-in-law is uh gay married to a lovely man and it took a long time for him to start calling me may lynn he was dead naming me for a long time yeah he was dead naming mal for a long time and he just seemed to be one of those people where it's like um i am straight and I am religious, and I am a conservative, and uh, okay, fine, I'll come out of the closet, I'm gay. But I'm still religious and conservative. Yeah. Uh -huh. And so when it came to being trans, there's a lot of gay people that... There's a surprising amount of gay people out there that hate trans people. Yeah. There's a movement, LGB without the T. Where it's like, even, like, like it's difficult to be trans because even there are even gay people out there that hate trans people. Yeah. It's difficult. Mal has entered the chat. Hey there. Can't hear you. Get closer. Speak louder. Said gay people often do not want to Draw more attention to themselves. If you're trans, I mean, come on, guys. Like, really? You're gonna you're gonna bring that like hatred towards us? Like, it's it's just an internalized bunch of fucking bullshit. Like, okay, cool. You want to be this? You can't fucking do that. They're gonna hate you. So therefore, you can't you can't do that. We've already gotten enough flack from these straight people. They're gonna give us more flack. Now. Yeah. Like, good going, guys. Yeah. It's usually some dumb shit like that. Yeah. Thank you for helping me out. Tag! <laughs> but this has been a rousing discussion on trans issues, Bonnie. Thank you for this. Yeah. and, and I feel and, important. But anyway, so I watched this show that she was talking about, and everybody was kind of like tiptoeing the issues, and it was like, well, you know, Anna, you know, she did this and she did this. And I appreciate that, but that doesn't mean you'd get to do this. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> and everybody was kind of tiptoeing and tiptoeing around it and coddling her about it and just saying, well, well, we're just trying to say that, you know, like, Maybe we should just be more like, you know, like inclusive, you know, just like, oh, come on. And I really appreciated when Ole cut through a lot of the fucking shit and like, you know, we're spending so much time coddling her feelings when we should be addressing what the issue is. Yeah. <laughs> and... And, and it just doubles down on the problem. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> it's, not, it's not surprising to see a rich, white, cishet woman who considers herself liberal suddenly de deciding to hate trans people. Yeah. Hooray! Happy almost Pride Month. Yeah. What fun. And it hasn't just been around this issue. It's been like 
coming out in different kinds of things. Like, you know, she was she was reporting that. Do you remember the bicycle incidents? Like, just this kind of like past or so week. When what the bicycle incident? No. Yeah, there was these guys who who were uh, touring the city on rental bicycles, and I'm not going to have all the details exactly right. And they had brought them back to one of the stations to rest, but they still had the bicycles. Okay. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. The 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 that Karen lady with the scooters. Yeah, she came back yeah. trying to say that the Karen lady actually paid for the scooters, and no, she did not. So it's like, okay, really, we're we're gonna we're gonna go for defending Karen ladies now. Yeah. Are we being too hard on the Karen ladies? Don't, don't touch that, Eleanor. Okay, okay. You just gave the podcast an earthquake. We're good. Eleanor's Godzilla today. Yeah. Okay, we good. You know, so but yeah, that was upsetting. Yeah. So but it's like then, even if she was in the right, she went about it the wrong way. Yeah. I'm not seeing why how, why exactly she's in the she's in the right. I don't know. I, I she was just really condescending towards the young black gentleman. Yeah. And it's like if you are right then explain it without just grabbing and yelling, as is your uh, apparent right as a white woman. Yeah. And then there was this uh, bit with Emma Vig- uh, Emma Viglin, who's uh, really, really pretty, like, in there, because, like, she's on a different show, but she started on The Young Turks. Yeah. You know, and I just brought this up for the for the issue of being pure. You know, like that's kind of the defense that they've been using using when people have criticized them over this that they're being they're being oh oh you're so pure. And I find yeah. that I find that telling in itself, okay? Because yeah. and you know this is what keeps bothering me about it. <clears throat> because that is a weird point of view, okay? Yeah. Right-wingers are calling for the, I forget if it's the extermination or the elimination of trans people. The extermination of trans people. Pastors are preaching that we should be shot in the back of the head. Yep. It is very dangerous. It's very strange that it's about purity for you when it's existential for the rest of us. Yeah. Like my being, my (laughs) gender, and what I have between my legs affects no one but my wife i said uh my gender or what is in between my legs affects no one but my wife thank you but what's between my legs i think we can both agree is pretty decent you know so so i just brought that up as the purity issue, this was an example of, of where that was part of the back and forth. Again, it's not, like not a history. It's just points I really wanted to address. Like, it's not about purity. It's, it's about they're calling for our extinction. And I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I, maybe I shouldn't use our, but they're going to have to go through me. You know? That, so that's- it's our. That's that's what I like to. I I'm 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 happy to hear that 
bunny because when I realized I was trans, I was excited for about 10 minutes and then I was depressed for about two hours because it's like, hey, I'm trans. I'm trans. Oh my goodness, I'm a woman. I've, I've been a trans woman this whole time and I didn't realize it. I'm trans. This is amazing. Oh shit. People want me dead now. I, I, yeah. But now there's even more reasons. So one of the things that I realized when I was trans was, oh shit, I wasn't an ally at all to trans people. I, I didn't care about trans rights. And now here I am trans and I'm going to ask my straight friends, hey, be an ally when I know for a fact that I wasn't an ally before I realized I was trans. And I felt bad about that. But it is surprising to, number one, have so many people, and a lot of them Christian, to have them want me dead, and yet to also see so many friends and family members who aren't saying anything, and yeah. who aren't doing anything. And so it's nice to hear you say, hey, if they want to kill all trans people, they got to go through Bunny. That's an ally. And now we can officially say the Pope on Film podcast, more liberal than the Young Turks. <laughs> yes. Hooray. That's our new tagline. All right. Boom. All right. But, you know, so I just brought this one out for uh, the purity issue. And the last yeah. one I got here. If you think uh, our hundreds of videos, which I've mentioned many times already, defending trans rights aren't enough, and much, probably much more aggressively and loudly than anyone else in media, and that's that slight difference of opinion around the edges mean we should be disowned, have it, have at it, Hoss. Still love you, though. Unless you're like, trans. Wow, this is okay. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Like, so, so you don't even get the problem exactly here. Okay. So, like, what's the math? All right. Every thousand videos, you get to punch us in the face. Yeah. <clears throat> This is right up there and with what's the name of that to... what's the name of that reporter that's like oh uh, we apologize if you were upset about our town hall at CNN but also you suck and you're the problem. Yeah. Yeah. That's what this reeks of. Yeah. So that's about it like you know what every 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 ten videos, do you get to slap us? I mean, like, yeah. Well, what's the fucking rate here? No. Yeah. You know, it's like it's like everywhere else. <clears throat> if a dog bites you, it's hard to ever trust that dog again. Yeah. If somebody shows you who they are, believe them. Sorry. And, and the Young Turks are showing us who they are. Doubling down doesn't help that. Oh, and it's fucking no. heartbreaking because it's like... It's like, fuck, where did this all come from? Yeah. You know? But anyway. That's sad. That is it, uh... Jeez, Sorry that you we... lost your Turks. Yeah. <laughs> but I just wanted to bring that out. I wanted hmm. to just have my... I wanted to get it off my chest. You know? Yeah. Uh, uh, or it's just in my head. And another thing. I'm like, no. Let's just say it out loud. <laughs> and hopefully just be done with it. You know what I mean? Bunny, are you left-handed? No. Okay, good. Because 
that means you're not a southpaw. I can't do a podcast with a southpaw. Yeah. Throws my whole game up. I think that southpaw should be illegal in podcasting. Yeah. Yeah. Where 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 the hell should we go from here? Yeah. Go historic approximation. Go straight to historical. All right.